Tri-Stone family. What a blessing to be with you on tonight. Uh, we are so excited that we're celebrating our 78th year church anniversary. Woohoo! And we have our own Elder Lorise White on with us tonight, representing Hello. the Collins family. Hello, Tri-Stone. Yes, yes, yes. So we're excited to um, interview and just see um, how that tapestry just kind of worked its way all the way into Tri-Stone, even up to now. So let's just jump in, Elder Lorise. Um, Let's, tell us when your family joined Tristone. When did the family become? I know you were there um, as a kid, but yeah, you can just give us from your mom or your grandma, either one. Okay. Um, well, my mom, she was the one that started us there. Um, we moved into the community when I was three years old. Um, so that was about 50 years ago. Yeah, 50 <laughs> years ago. Um, and they, my mom joined Tristone in 1975, and uh, my grandmother joined in 1977. Um, I remember being baptized there when I was eight, and Pastor uh, James W. Seiler was the pastor at that time. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So I, I came along... Um, you know, follow my mom. But, but again, I was also at a, another church down the street, the neighborhood church. Okay. So I was church hopping. And I, <laughs> I, I like the flavor of Tristone because Tristone, they used to clap their hands in the church I was from uh, in the neighborhood. They're more traditional, uh, but that church gave me my foundation. But Tristone was more lively. They clapped their hands and I was kind of all into that. And then when my mom joined, she didn't know I had walked up to the front to join. Um, she looked back and she she looked up and saw that I was up there joining her church. Wow. So I, I church top, but she brought us there. She started in 1975. My grandmother came in 77. Okay. And we've been part of the ministry since then. Well, you answered one question because I was going to say who was the pastor at the time when you guys came, but you said Pastor Silas was the pastor. Yeah. Pastor Silas. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And what ways... Um, from the time that you came up, even your mom and your grandma has Tristone changed. Oh, God. Big time. <laughs> changed tremendously. Uh, changed tremendously um, from the brick and mortar. That has changed uh, totally. Um, it's evolved through um, pastors, but the ministry has uh, grown tremendously. Okay. We, we're doing so much more ministry, outreach ministry, uh, even within the walls, ministry has grown. Uh, all the levels of ministry, the structure with Christian Air for one has, has grown, um, okay. but it has evolved a lot. Okay. okay. That is awesome to hear um, because I know I share a little bit of history myself with um, how it's evolved over time. But I know some of you guys are like your, your grandmother, you know, was from when it was when Wentworth all the way to where yeah. right now. Yeah, she she wasn't part of the Wentworth part. Okay, okay. She was there from 104th Street. So that's okay. when, when we came. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So we, we've seen that change big time. Okay. Yeah. I remember being a part of that, you know, breaking the ground. I had an orange suit, we were breaking the ground so that we can expand over. Uh, yes. That's what Bishop came. Yeah, yeah. So tell us about some impactful times in your time at um, at Tristone for your family. Period. Just some things um, over the years. You know, maybe an older memory, like middle ways, mm -hmm. all the way up to now. Just kind of give us something that was impactful. Um, I know that there was a lot that went on in what we call like the old church. Yeah. And from there to transitioning into the new church. You know, it's, I know it's a lot of impactful things. It is. Um, just looking at my grandmother being involved in ministry, um, serving, my mother serving. My grandmother, they used to do a lot of chicken dinners and stuff in the kitchen. Okay. Right. <laughs> and her and... Um, People like Evelina Cowan, they used to always bake these cakes and they used to be ready to, to, to serve the people. So she was, I don't know what kind of ministry that was called, the kitchen ministry, I don't know. But they were like, uh, I would call them our modern day, um, like the missionaries, like when we yes. have funerals and that mm -hmm. team of people come pull together to serve. That's kind of how they were. 
So yeah. my grandmother was very involved in that type of ministry, as well as the nurses board and the missions. The same with my mom. My mom was a church clerk back in the day. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. She served okay. in so many capacities. Wow. Um, so just uh, it impacted us so much with ministry and, mm -hmm. and serving within the walls. Um, and now, even so, my mom, uh, she, you know, just retired from the finance office <laughs> last year, I think it was. Um, okay. But she's still serving more so in the food pantry. That's her thing now. She's she's there on Fridays uh, to help prepare to minister to the people in the community. Awesome. Uh, regarding me, how it's impacted me, you know, I I started a family there at TriStone mm -hmm. and have three kids. So uh, we own four generations at TriStone. And just seeing um, me grow spiritually and seeing my family um all together in the same uh, ministry growing together. So uh, it, it's been, a, we've been impacted quite a bit. You know, I've gone from sitting on the side, clapping my hands to now called into ministry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Tell us some of your positions. I remember you as oh, a choir wow. director, you know, and I know yeah. I've got some other ones, but I, yeah. It was, it was a lot. It was a lot. Ministry. And I, I think God gives you the grace to do what you're what you're doing for that particular time. Because <laughs> uh, I could barely hold a note, to be honest. <laughs> and uh, God allowed me to be a uh, part of Youth in Action when I uh, came to Tristone under Bishop Gordon. Um, I was choir director uh, for the Youth in Action. I did um, youth ministry. Uh, wow. The Christian ed structure. I did church-wide education, um, and I worked in the finance office, you know, walking in envelopes under B uh, Betty Anderson at that time. Wow, okay. I, oh, I know. I so many hats. So many okay. hats. Okay. You know, but I, I think I found my real my area, which is really teaching uh, mm -hmm. and flowing uh, in ministry. So like I said, God gives you the grace to do what you really oh yeah what's needed okay. for that season <laughs> but that is it's so rich because pastor Austin says you know that during invitation that people should be where their gifts will flow and flourish and where they will you know yeah. so it's such a blessing to hear that you know not just you but your entire family from your grandmother yeah. to your mom and now you and and have your children and that that yeah. legacy is still going strong that they're yeah. flourishing in who God has called them to be. So yes. that, that's a powerful thing. Yeah. So you answered the ministries. Um, how has Bishop himself, what kind of impact? Wow, right? I know, so, right? Uh, yeah. From him being Reverend Gordon or Pastor Gordon to Bishop and just yeah. those transitions. Yeah. yeah. I saw that evolution take place. Okay. Uh, from when he first came to Tristone, um, just his leadership. I remember being at Bible class at times. It was a Friday night Bible class. When only a few people would be there. Uh -huh. and I was like one of the youngest ones there. And I, I had his direct attention to answer these uh, naive questions that I had. Mm -hmm. But uh, to see, to be under his tutelage um, has been great. Mm -hmm. um, his leadership help pulls out the best in you. Even when you don't want it to be pulled out, um, just, you know, me moving into ministry. Uh, him seeing what God placed in me um, helped me to see it um, by, you know, putting me before the people. I want you to teach Bible class or um, teaching youth Bible class. Uh, it, it pulled out what I didn't know what was in me. So mm -hmm. and he does that very well because he, he's a prophet. You know, God shows the prophet, you know, you know where people should be in the ministry. That's so right. he has been a blessing not only to me, but to my whole family. Yeah. Amen. So where do you see um, Tristone, and especially since you've experienced all of these transitions, we've talked to others about how the church has always been a community church. It's yeah. just kind of evolved as the uh, church has evolved, especially under Bishop's leadership. Um, how do you see your family being a part of kind of that intricate part of being that community ministry that oh, yeah. is out um, where do you got see your where do you see yourself and your family in that part? Definitely reaching not only just the community, the surrounding community. You know, like I said, we've been in that Morgan Park, Beverly area 
um, since I was three. So it's been 50 years. And, and to see my mother really engage with like the, the food pantry, mm -hmm. doing that outreach mm -hmm. um, ministry for me, it's not just inside the walls of Tristone, but it's, it's expanding and it's expanding even more. Um, and just to get my kids involved in that. Um, I know Madison had a heart for food pantry, uh, but just being able to get them back involved into that aspect where they're doing more hands-on ministry. Right. That's why I want to see them doing more hands-on ministry. COVID just kind of put a halt to a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But my but seeing my husband uh, very active, not only in church, but doing stuff in the community as well. That's awesome. That's awesome. So is there anything special that you love to say to the church body at large? on our 78th year anniversary, just about everything that basically you just talked about, the importance of being under great leadership, the importance of uh, just kind of getting in the trenches, doing ministry, hearing God, and just moving in the things that the Lord is saying, as well as bringing your family through that. I mean, think about it. It's 78 years that Tristone has been doing this thing and uh, yeah. God has been blessed. Yeah. So what'd you like to share with us about that? I would just say, uh, Tristone, we're family. And um, Reverend Cooper used to always say, J.D. Cooper uh, used to always say, a family that prays together stays together. That's one thing he always said when he was up there in that pulpit. A uh, family that prays together stays together. We've been doing ministry for 78 years, mm -hmm. Tristone. And we've had Bishop for like 30-something of those years. Yes. But, you know, it doesn't stop here. We continue. Let's continue to grow. Let's continue to evolve. Let's continue to, to spread the gospel mm -hmm. because it's all about souls being saved for the kingdom. And that's what God has placed us right there on that corner of 104th to do to be able to impact not only the community, but we got to impact our households, our family. So let's continue doing ministry, Tristone. 78 years. Don't let that Ooh. stop us. We got 78 more. Amen. Thank you so much. Much, elder for giving us your time and thank you uh and tell your family thank you for everything that's been poured into tristone i'm sure that when we view it amen we'll be so encouraged to just keep being a piece of the puzzle that a piece of the puzzle that, yes. that piece of the puzzle that they get your so piece and do it that's work right your piece work that's your right. piece we're gonna work our pieces to keep Yes. Lord say the same. He'll give us 78 more. I know that he will. So Amen. thank you again. Thank you again for Amen. coming on and blessing us tonight. Bless you. Tristone, Bless you, that's, Tristone. That's, that's our own Elder Louise White. We thank you for joining us and we look forward to having a wonderful time for our 78th year church anniversary. You guys be blessed. Amen. <laughs>